Welcome back everybody. Here we are. Uh, we had another uh, battling stream so we got a lot of videos uh, to, to narrate and record and go through and this one uh, was a game against randoms. It's a roulette on Showdown. So let's take a look and see how this one goes. Um, I uh, happen to get a, a pretty good lead here. I'm pretty happy with that versus Skunk Tank. So uh, I think it's an advantage to me. I'm just pretty much going to go for obvious moves all at the start just to kind of see what's going on. Um, super effective attempt. Didn't work. Not terribly surprising. Uh, and I'm going to switch out to a fighting type just to see if I can happen to score a strong attack. Uh, I get paralyzed, so he's eh, not going to be faster, that's for sure. He'll get, uh, he'll get his chance to do whatever he wants. And I figure, you know, I'm just going to go for it anyway. No idea what he's going to have. If I had to go for a random coverage move, it's probably going to suck. So I'm at least, I at least want to try. Why not? Um, doesn't quite work out. Uh, this turn I stayed in for Ice Punch, trying to see how much it would do. Um, but it probably wouldn't do enough anyway, and that's just a bad situation to be in. So I'm going to get on out, and I'm going to go to an Ice type so I can scare this thing away. Uh, plus resist the Giga Drain. That'll obviously be helpful. Um, and the, so far the theme has just been going for obvious moves so far, so let's just kind of keep doing it. Um, plus, at least in this case, it's Stab, um, unlike the Earth Power the first time around. Um, it still doesn't do too much, at least, but uh, I'll, I'll get back to him later. So uh, I'm going to make the same switches last time, because I don't know what those things really use for offense, if anything. I don't know how Blissey-like they are. Uh, clearly none, because that was a pretty strong hit. And uh, something that <laughs> something that Blissey would never do. Um, so I lose my guy, but at least I mean he was T-waved anyway. It was kind of worthless, and I kind of wanted to go for superpower there, but I just I just didn't because I was like I was doing this too much. So I went for stab, and of course Agron came in. It's like oh, I should have had that superpower out there initially. Um, and Treviant is pretty much just here for fodder. Um, I need to hit this thing really really hard, or hit it specially and I opted to try to hit it really, really hard, which probably was not as good. Um, super effective, 44%, not nearly as beneficial as I thought it would be. Agron is clearly a monster and just a defensive beast. Um, I stayed in because I didn't want to switch out and have something else die. Even though my attack was lowered, I knew it wasn't going to kill him. He would have been able to kill me, but he switched out to be safe. Um, so that probably worked out better for me. Goes back to his Amoongus to take it like a champ, and I therefore go out back to my Ice Poke. I knew it was going to get paralyzed, but what else am I really going to do about it? Um, at least now I can start firing off Ice Beams, but I'm going to switch, and it's not going to matter. So I finally started to not go for obvious moves and make a prediction, but I got T-waved, or fully paralyzed, I should say. Um, I do at least pull off an Earth Power, and I took that hit much better than I thought I would as well. Um, so now that I saw how little I did, I guess like, maybe I shouldn't have been as afraid of Agron? I don't know, whatever. Um, but at this point I need to start firing off Dragon Claws on this thing, because uh, Ice Beams aren't going to cut it. But I'm really wounded now, so I need to get a Roost if I can? Please K thanks, okay got it. So I got some HP back, and uh, he looks like he's going to have a tough time trying to kill this guy. Um, I'm not exactly in the greatest of situations, I'm, I'm down a few pokes. Um, Stoutland is essentially dead, I suppose, but he might be able to get one hit off before he goes. This thing's T-Wave, but so far, he can't really kill it. Um, I'm at least able to now finally get some Dragon Claws off and start hitting physically. And ow, that hurt. Um, ow, that's really all I have to say. But at least I get through Paralysis a couple turns in a row, I get to kill that thing. Um, so that's cool, obviously it really, really hurt, but here we go. Uh, no more games, he's just going to end everything, he's going to destroy the world with Golduck. He's going to calm mind up, I get my HP back, and I need to start firing off Dragon Claws on this thing, but I can't. I get that extra 5% though, for whatever that's worth. Um, so I go to Stoutland just to force him to attack and stop boosting up, and if I happen to be faster, which I highly doubt, then cool, I'll get to hit him once, but I don't. It might have been a waste of Stoutland, I'm not quite sure. Um, but uh, at least break the Encore, I can come back in now. And uh, I just, I figured he wouldn't have anything to hit this guy with. So I wanted him to go in here knowing he's bulky and start firing Dragon Claws. And I'm just constantly T-waved all the time for days. Uh, at least I do get one off and... Okay, so it's not that impressive. But if I would have had a couple more off like I was intending to, it would have made a little bit of a bigger difference. But uh, 
Golduck with Signal Beam, because that sounds powerful, is apparently just going to sweep me from here. But uh, if you're going to get swept by a Golduck, I mean, I guess I guess you can try throwing Lapras out here. I just figured since it's a Water Poke, it's going to have some sort of some sort of move to kill another Water Poke with. So that's why I didn't bring Lapras in initially. But uh, well, I get Encore on Toxic. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but it's not like I can hit this thing either. Hydro Pump and Ice Beam aren't going to do it, especially against two Calm Minds. Um, so he wants to get out to reduce the amount that Toxic is going to rack up on him. And uh, that allows Lapras to just kind of sit in here, get some lefties. And uh, I'm going to switch out and try and save it. Uh, he made a good switch by going to a Poison type when I'm stuck on Toxic. And I don't want to keep sitting there on Toxic doing nothing. Plus I didn't want to get Giga Drained. But uh, I'm going to leave it up to Titar, see if it can deal some damage. And uh, I've got DD and Ice Punch, so I'm going to hope that that gets there. I want to DD up first, despite the Paralysis, because if I hit him with Ice Punch, and then he hits me with Giga Drain and kills me right after, it's not going to be a big deal. So I want to hit him once, as hard as I can, hopefully get him down low enough, and then I can just assume that Lapras will finally get there and kill it with an Ice Beam. But uh, I keep getting T-Waved, so I'm not able to get anything off. Thankfully, T-Tar is bul just, just bulky enough. When I'm able to survive them all, I get one and I crit. I don't know if the crit mattered, I honestly have no idea. The thing's bulky as hell, so it probably did, but Lapras would have came in and been able to finish it off anyway at the end, so I don't think, while it might have mattered to kill him in one hit, I don't think it mattered as far as whether it was alive or dead. So uh, here we are! It's up to Lapras to kill these last three things. Golduck is no longer plus two, plus two, and uh, I'm gonna set up a sub. I'm gonna do what I can, set up a sub, he can't break my sub, Toxic is going to rack up. I knew he was going to Encore it, but I also knew that it's going to be my only chance to save as much damage as I possibly can. Um, and so he's going to struggle for a couple of turns to kill this sub. I'm going to get more lefties, Toxic is going to rack up more. And how, how weird is that? I am winning a game because I'm going to kill three pokes with Substitute. Like, that was seriously my thought process. Set up Substitute, kill three pokes, win game. But, uh... I guess, I guess it was working for the moment, and he's not able to kill it with Crunch. So what I really should have done that turn instead of, Oh, the crit! The Hax is coming back, all those T-Waves. What I really should have done that turn was set up sub instead of attacking, after seeing that he couldn't break my sub. Um, but I didn't, and then of course I get taunted, so it really came to backfire on me. But uh, the crit Hydro Pump kind of made up for it. I don't know if I would have killed in two. I did, what, 69% with one? So, eh. But, uh, pfft, Lapras is just a monster. All the T-Wave hacks is coming back in the form twice as strong as three Hydro Pump crits, because that's just bonkers. But, uh, I mean, maybe if I wasn't T-Wave so much, I would have got more damage in? I don't know, but it's not missing either, so that's fantastic. Not only is it not missing, and I'm getting crits, and it looks like Lapras might be able to do this? Uh, maybe not. I'm, that hurt quite a lot. Thankfully, Recoil killed it, though I didn't get fully paralyzed, but uh, here we go. It's uh, T-Wave Hacks versus Toxic Golduck. Can I get a hit off and kill the thing, or will it signal beam me to death? It looks like I can take two more after some lefties recovery, so I think I'm actually going to be okay. Hydro Pump once again didn't miss. I was trusting it. At that point, I probably should have switched to Ice Beam. But, oh no, the crit! This is it! Oh, I got the hit! If I didn't hit him there, I end up dying, but Toxic racked up just enough where I was able to finish it off, and that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I thought for sure Golduck was going to take it to the house, but Lapras said no. I remember there was a meme in like 2008 or 2009, there was a swept by a Lapras meme on, uh, was it Shoddy, I think it was, is where it came from? God, those days are long gone. But, uh, here it is, coming back, Lapras for the freaking win. Substitute its way to victory. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more that I need to narrate and record. So hopefully I will see you guys around for all of those as well. Uh, they're not all roulettes. I think, what, two of them are roulettes? Five of them are battles. So hopefully you guys will have fun, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later. Peace.